Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video we are going to be harvesting all the pumpkins and weighing them to see how we've done this year. Let's get started. I would prefer it not to be so drizzly and manky today but it's been like this for a good few days now and I really can't leave the pumpkins and squashes standing out here any longer. Time to get them harvested. Right, that's all the squashes harvested. Now let's go ahead and start weighing them. And we'll start with red curie, which is the first one I harvested probably about a month ago. This is actually the best red curie I've ever grown. And I think this is my third attempt from another plant and I got one fruit from it. I probably won't grow red curie again now we're going to weigh in everybody else, so let's go with Autumn Crown. So here come the final figures. Red Kiri was 113 grams. Autumn Crown from three squashes gave us 2,693 grams, so that's 2.7 kilos. Crown Prince from three squashes gave us a grand total of 7,239 grams which is 7.2 kilos and sweet dumpling at 60 grams there are a couple more on the vine which I will leave just in case I get some more so that gives us our grand total of 10,005 grams or just over 10 kilos of squashes this year there we go, that is the result of my squash growing in my square foot beds for 2020. And I think considering the weird year we had with weather and 
the failures that I had at the beginning. I, I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> Courgettes have been a bit of a write-off this year, but you win some, you lose some. I know some people have grown an awful lot more than me, but I'm just doing it in the square foot beds. There were no others in the rest of the garden. They take up an enormous amount of space. Each plant can get absolutely huge, and unless you're growing them in a huge field, <laughs> you're just probably not going to get the harvest. Oh, and you probably need to irrigate as well, so yeah. For a back garden, I'm really pleased with these. And if I look after these properly, they should last me right through winter. If I want to, I can roast them, hollow them out and then freeze them or turn them into squash soup and freeze that. And Crown Prince makes the most beautiful squash soup ever. Yes. Oh, the colour, the flavour. If you grow one squash, make it Crown Prince. It's amazing. Though I'm really looking forward to seeing what Autumn Crown is like. As I say, it is a cross between Crown Prince and a butternut squash, which I think I managed to grow one. It's a bit like my Red Curie. If the conditions aren't exactly right, then <laughs> no chance. So, you know, potentially, Autumn Crown would be a really good alternative for me and it has been bred especially for UK growing conditions particularly up north actually. Something else you can do is before they're cooked cut them in half, hollow out the seeds, clean them off really well and dry them, lay them in a single layer on a baking sheet and you can roast those and literally eat those as pumpkin seeds and you can add spice to that you can add um, cayenne pepper all sorts of things to make these even better right that's it for this week's video thank you so much for watching please remember to rate share and subscribe to me here on youtube and until next time bye